I thought I'd share this. There's not much sound with it, but uh, it's an alternative energy technology that is uh, really cheap. So uh, I think it deserves a little bit more uh, publicity, <laughs> as far as I can supply it here. What it basically is, is a water turbine, but instead of trying to make a turbine spin really fast, it tries to make as much water mass spin very fast, uh, or as fast as, as, it, as it does, and then try to, uh, let's say, uh, get the energy by creating a resistance for that moving uh, water mass. And uh, so you get a vortex out of water disappearing in a hole, and uh, the water will move around that vortex if you construct the whole thing right. And all that m water, of course, can uh, create a resistance for the blades that you have here. So even though this thing is not turning that fast, it has extreme uh, power. So this is easily uh, 10 uh, kilowatts or something like that, which might not sound much. But still, it's, uh, it's enough to power a few homes. And you don't need uh, that much uh, difference in altitude. You need only, let's say, half a meter or something like that, which is not very much. And you can even, of course, combine this with uh, wave energy if you're at a coastal zone by using wave energy to pump uh, water out of the sea to a level of about one meter and then make a construction like this uh, to get that power out again by letting the water flow back to the sea through this vortex. And it's really cheap because, of course, you need concrete, which is not very expensive. And uh, some concrete, uh, of course, you can easily uh, well get that stuff. And the turbine is not a fast-turning, high-power, super strong, uh, ultra expensive uh, titanium turbine. It's simply a few blades uh, turning with uh, the water and a slow uh, revolution, low revolution uh, turbine uh, or uh, generator on top of it. The whole uh, thing, if it's a little bit smaller, but it could, could cost about um, $20,000 or something. If you do this uh, with uh, old parts, this was uh, the first prototype was built for about 40,000 euro and it uh, delivers about 50,000 uh, kilowatts every year which is nice, so it pays itself back in about five years, I believe. It needs a little bit of maintenance, but not very much, because you see it's not, uh, let's say, there's not much forces on the whole thing. Or there are strong forces on it, but they're not unpredictable, irregular. Like with the turbine, you can have a little bit of dust in it, and it uh, spins out of control. <laughs> so this is much, uh, much low maintenance, cheaper. So I thought I'd show this, because if you want to have some alternative energy in your area and you get 30% off granted for using this technology from the US uh, Department of Energy, whoever they are, and you scrape together a few parts, then you can have this type of power, hydro power, uh, close to your home, powering your home and heating it, even in the winter, because of course the water uh, in most streams don't stop flowing in the winter. So I thought I'd share this. I think it's an impressive uh, result. It's an Austrian company. If you don't understand it, uh, I guess Austrian people usually speak pretty good English. And I'll put a link to the website of the inventor uh, next to this video. I like it, and I hope you like it.